Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Before we get started, though, please be so kind as to hit that subscribe button down below because I want you to be part of my Mary Makers community. Okay, today's video, you guys, I thought it was about damn time that I did like my favorite gourmand scents for fall for y'all because I think. You know, there's a lot of really good ones out there. There's some good ones from years past. There's actually a couple of good ones from this year. So I just really wanted to go over my absolute favorite gourmand scents for the fall. First one, first one, first one, y'all. It would not be fall without pumpkin pecan waffles by Bath and Body Works, y'all. I love this scent. Oh. Scent notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This legitimately smells like waffles, like waffles, waffles. It sincerely does not get any more gourmand than pumpkin pecan waffles, y'all. I swear to God, it doesn't. Because you really do get like the butter and the waffle and the syrup. It is just an amazing scent to have. This is last year's packaging. I am glad that they brought it back again this year. Although, again, I have been told and from what I sniffed, it is not as strong as this version here, okay? The next one is also from last year. It's in that same, actually, I'm going to talk about two of them that are from last year from Bath & Body Works. Coconut Candy Apple. Y'all, oh my gosh. I really wish they would have brought this back for y'all, especially you guys who didn't have a chance to get your sniffers on it because it is candied red apple, shredded coconut, and vanilla spice. It is just like the most perfect concoction of apple and coconut. And you know that, like, that, that candy coating on candied apples? That's what this smells like. Oh, God. It is so good. Oh, it's so good. And the coconut's not overbearing. It smells delicious. It's like a perfect toasty fall coconut. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's Coconut Candy Apple from Bath & Body Works. The other one from that line last year, Blueberry Sugar Pancakes. Y'all, what is the candle? The candle's called something else. I think it's called Blueberry Maple Pancakes. But this is Blueberry Maple Pancakes. I don't care what they want to call it. It is what it is, and we all know what it is. Oh, my God. I was so thrilled last year when they brought this out because it is just divine. Scent notes are sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, caramel cream drizzle. Banging! Oh, God, this is so good. Like, it genuinely just smells freaking delicious. Like, you get the blueberries. To me, it definitely has more of a pancakey smell than a waffle smell, whereas the waffles definitely smell like waffle-esque. I can't explain that, but if you're a genuine foodie and a lover of all things food, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh yes, I absolutely love this one. Blueberry sugar pancakes. The other ones, I have one from Victoria's Secret and that's bare vanilla. Y'all, I can wear bare vanilla year round and never get tired of it. I absolutely love it. It's whipped vanilla soft cashmere. It is just such a beautiful gourmand vanilla. It is gorgeous. It, it literally has like this kind of whipped creamy essence to it. It literally has just like this essence about it that's so decadent and rich. And it's just such a good vanilla. It is not too spicy a vanilla. It's not too honeyed a vanilla. It is marshmallowy vanilla goodness. I love it so much. I love it so much. Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. I literally go through at least, at least two to three bottles of this a year. You're like between year round. Not just like in the fall, but year round. The other one is from Pink. Y'all, basic pumpkin. Don't sleep on this. Don't sleep on this. Scent notes are pumpkin spice latte and whipped cream. I ain't even gonna lie. I like this. Better than Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte from Bath & Body Works. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It is so freaking good. It has more of an authentic, like, pumpkin-y smell to it. But that vanilla whipped cream in there is amazing. Like, it's 
kind of like that spice latte, but with more pumpkin pie in there, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't get coffee. I don't get, like, latte. I get, like, the smell of pumpkin in the air at a coffee shop, but then pie and, and whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Don't sleep on this one, you guys. This one is good. I am going to lie. Basic pumpkin by pink. The next one I've been really, really digging. You guys, this is from Sugar Milk Co. It is yellow cake carrot cake. Now, when people hear carrot cake, I know a lot of people associate that with springtime, like with Easter. However, I have always associated with not only with Easter, but fall time. Like carrot cake is a very kind of like a spicy, decadent cake. This It is so good, you guys. It is legit so freaking good. It just smells like you have fallen into a, a huge vat of batter for carrot cake. But it still has like that little bit of sweetness, sweetness from yellow cake. You know what I'm talking about? Because carrot cake has its own type of a distinct smell to it. It has a little bit of a spicy note to it. And yellow cake obviously does not. So the two of these combined together just smells freaking amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, I love this one. It is by Sugar Milk Co. Again, Sugar Milk Co. is only open like once or twice a month for you to order online. They may still have these on there if you go look again. I can't guarantee. But also check Mercari because like I always say to people, if you... You can find anything on Mercari. Anything. Discontinued stuff, out of stock stuff. You can find anything on Mercari. But yes, Yellow Cake Carrot Cake from Sugar Milk Co. Banging, banging, banging. The other one that I really, really like lately is Ancient Cosmetics Caramel Butterscotch. It's their Aga, Ar, Argan, Aga, Argan Body Mist. But it's also got oil in it. Argan oil. See? Argan oil body mist. I know the lights in here are just crazy. Argan Oil Body Mist. This legit smells, and this is by Ancient Cosmetics. I probably said that already, but just in case. It is the epitome of caramel fragrances. Ugh, I have it in like every form you can get it in, and I'm not mad that I did at all. It is so freaking good. I do get some butterscotch, but to me, this is mostly caramel. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love this one so much. It is just so rich. It is decadent. It is like everything. When you think of caramel just being drizzled on everything and the way it tastes and the way it smells, that is what this is. That is what this is. Ancient Cosmetics Caramel Butterscotch. Go check it out. The other ones, I've got four of like, I'm really into this fall. I'm super, super into them so far as gourmand scents. The other one, this is a retired scent from Bath and Body Works, but dang, I had to bring it out at Sugared Cherry Crisp. You guys, when this came out, which I want to say it was 2020. Yeah, it was 2020. Uh, either you love cherry scents from Bath and Body Works or you're not a fan. This one, though, they did it in such a way that you can actually smell the crust. I love it. If you like the candle, that sugared cherry crisp candle, or the cherry hand pie candle, that's what this smells like. Scent notes, they don't have on here because this is before they got hip to the game. But I can just tell you, it legit smells like cherry pie with like a little bit of a dollop of whipped cream. I just want to eat it. I want to eat it. It's like that sugary, syrupy type of cherry. Like you can just smell and envision the cherries, the whole cherries in that pie. Just exactly like how the, the picture looks. Like those whole cherries right there, those ones. Y'all. But then you also can smell that sugar, flaky crust. When you can almost like, I can envision in my head those little like, crystallized pieces of sugar that's always on the top of pies like that. That's what this makes me think of. Oh my God, and it's so good. It is so good. I wish they would bring this one back, especially again for y'all that never had the chance to experience her because she is absolutely divine. Huge, huge gourmand amazingness here. Mm -hmm. 
I've got three left. One, you guys, I just did a video on this recently. It is Scentworks French Vanilla Pumpkin. This is so freaking good. Creamy pumpkin, white chocolate, whipped vanilla cream. I, I just can't, I can't even smell it enough. I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. I would want to bathe in this. It's just so freaking good. The creaminess, the pumpkin. It's almost got like this cakey kind of a vibe to it, but it's not cake. It is just so freaking good though. For y'all that saw that video and went out and got this, please tell me what you thought. Please tell me what you thought because your girl over here, my God, absolutely in love with it. It's got white chocolate in it, but I don't get a lot of that white chocolate. I get a little, but it's mostly just this amazing cakey pumpkin, marshmallowy, whipped vanilla cream smell. Oh, so freaking good. Yes, so definitely let me know if you pick this up and what your thoughts are. I really am genuinely curious to know what y'all thought of this one. The second to last one, I love this by Beloved. It's Target brand Beloved and it's Pumpkin and Tonka Body Cream. I don't, they don't have scent notes on this except Pumpkin and Tonka. This legit smells like a pumpkin pie. Like I would pair this with that basic pumpkin from Pink because it just, it, it literally smells like a pumpkin pie. Oh my God, with the whipped cream on top of it and everything. Like I can see that piece of pie kind of quivering because you cut it and it ain't been uh, like cooled off completely all the way. So it's a little wiggly. Oh my God. Oh my God. If I think if my older son smelled this, he'd be like wanting to fight me for it because he has an obsession with pumpkin pie. He absolutely loves pumpkin pie. My 20 year old and... Oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. And I'm so glad I have some left because I bought this last year. I don't know if and when they'll ever bring this back. Check Mercari. It's so worth it. This one is banging, banging. And the very last one, you guys, I absolutely love this. This came out, when was it? 2019, this was released. And I don't know if they're ever gonna bring this back. But it was so freaking good. And I keep hoping and praying that they will bring it back. Because for all y'all out there that never experienced this scent, I feel like y'all are getting dragged. Because you are missing out on something that is so astronomically good. And that is toasted praline and pear. You guys, this is so freaking good. I literally... It's like pear with pralines and like a honey or a caramel drizzle on it with graham crackers. Almost like if you could kind of envision making a pear s'more. I can kind of like, but maybe with some pralines on it though. They have never ever made anything that even came close to this before that or since then. It is freaking amazing. I do have the spray. I have a body cream. I think it's like right here or a body uh, lotion. I do have a shower gel and then I have one complete set left in my stock because I don't think I'm ever going to see it again. And I, my stock, like I have backups of just stuff that I'm absolutely in love with. Not everything. Stuff that I, I have to be drop dead in love with this stuff to get backups. And I've got it in a really cool, dark area of my basement family room that's all dark. There, It's temperature controlled down there because I want it to last like forever. So, <laughs> so anyway, but yes, this is the bee's knees, the shiz knit, all of the above, amazing. Oh, so freaking good, you guys. If you have this, let me know what you think. If you are uh, in the hunt for it, definitely check Mercari. And that is my like top scents for fall this year that are gourmand that I absolutely are in love with this year. If you like this video, please hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And uh, 
ding the bell so you are alerted every time I upload. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.